if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I figured now would be a good time to share a few tips and features in GoodNote 6. I've shown some of these in my plan with me videos, but I figured having them all in one place would be nice. So let's get into it. Let's start with the range. Now this feature allows you to bring forward your image or text and you can also move them back. Use the lasso tool and draw a circle around the item you wanna move and select a range from the pop-up toolbar. This feature is especially helpful when you're layering stickers in your digital planner or journal. In a recent GoodNotes update, we have the option now to use the color dropper tool in the app. You can use this feature to match your text and highlighter to the color scheme you have going on on your spread. Select the pen or highlighter and double tap one of the color circles on the toolbar. Go to the custom option in the drop down menu and select the color dropper at the top right. The tool will pop up on your page and you can drag it over the color you want to match. Once you have the color selected, let up and GoodNotes will automatically give you the hex code for the color. And if you want to save this color and add it to your collection, select add to preset. You can also save your favorite colors to the toolbar, making it easier to access them. Just scroll over until you reach the dotted circle with the plus sign and you can add the colors from here. You can also hold on the colors and drag them to rearrange. In that same update, GoodNotes gave us the option to add custom hyperlinks. We could already add hyperlinks to websites, but now you can hyperlink within the document. There are so many options you can use this for. I did a video showing you how to create a hyperlink notebook within GoodNotes. I'll add the link below if you want to check it out. To get to the linking option, make sure you are using the text tool. In the pop-up menu, select add link. From here, you can choose the link to document or web. Next, you can choose which document you want to link to. You can add a link to your current document or another document in GoodNotes. I'm going to link this to my yearly vision board and my digital planner. To link to the web, just select website and paste the site that you want to link. The easiest way to access your links is putting GoodNotes in read mode by selecting the pen icon at the top. Now you can select the hyperlinks to move around. To access the hyperlinks in edit mode, make sure your lasso tool is selected, hold on the hyperlink, then select go to page from the custom links that you created. For a hyperlink planner or journal, hold on the hyperlink and select open link. GoodNotes has also added a ruler feature to the toolbar. And if you're anything like me and you can't draw a straight line, then you will love this feature. This ruler is very responsive and moves around the page just like a physical ruler would. I can see this ruler feature being used a lot for school. You can even set the angle that you want the ruler in and GoodNotes will move it for you. The GoodNotes 6 update comes with an AI writing assistant. To access it, use the keyboard icon at the top to change GoodNotes to typing mode. Once you've typed out your text, highlight it, and in the pop-up toolbar, select the icon with the stars. From this menu, select Make Longer and the AI feature will take over. Now, I wouldn't suggest using this feature to write a whole paper, but it is a nice feature to use to get the thought process going. While Scribble is an iPad feature, it's probably one of the most used in the GoodNotes app. The most important thing is to make sure Scribble is turned on in your iPad settings. Now I'm going to share a few Scribble shortcuts. If you have something that you want to delete, just scribble over it. This action acts as a an eraser and deletes the text that you scribble. If you want to select any part of the text, you can draw a circle around the part that you want to select and you can also draw a line through it. and a pop-up toolbar will come with the options that you have for editing the text. And if you need to remove a space, just draw a line through it. And if you wanna add a space, you can draw a line and that'll give you a space in between text too. There are a couple different options you can use to get to split screen on your iPad. If there's an app that you want to view in split screen in your docking station, you can just drag it to either side of your screen and it'll open in split view. You can also select the three dots at the top of the screen and then select split view. I use this feature whenever I'm working on my vision or mood boards to get pictures from Pinterest. Just make sure you're using the website for Pinterest and not the app. 
When you have the image that you want to use, hold down on it and drag it over to GoodNotes. Make sure you hold on the image until you see the green circle with the plus sign in GoodNotes. If you let go too soon, you'll open a new browser window. You can also remove the background from images you copy over from the internet. Select the image that you want to use and in the pop-up toolbar, select Copy Subject. Now go to GoodNotes and when you paste, you will only have the subject of the picture and there will be no background. You can also remove the background from photos too. Just long hold on the part of the photo that you want to use and drag it over to GoodNotes and you'll see the green circle with the plus sign. You can also use your photos to create custom stickers too. When you hold on the image, you'll see it's sort of like a lightning flash around the image and then you'll get a pop-up toolbar. Select add sticker and now the sticker will be saved in your sticker drawer. From here, you can customize your sticker by adding different effects to it. To get to the stickers that you've added to your sticker drawer, open the keyboard and select the emoji icon. From here, you'll see some of the stickers that you've created in your recently used or you can select the circle icon at the bottom and it opens the sticker drawer. The crop tool is a feature I use a lot when creating my own stickers from images and I also use it to customize my digital stickers. It's like having a pair of scissors in good notes. Select the photo tool from the toolbar and then tap the image you want to customize. From the pop-up toolbar, select crop. You can crop using the rectangle option, which gives you more of a box look, or you can choose to freehand and create whatever shape you want to use. And while we're on the photo tool, let me show you how to quickly duplicate a sticker. Just tap the sticker and then long hold on it. Once it kind of lifts, then drag the sticker and you'll see the green circle with the plus sign. This circle anywhere in GoodNotes means you're about to add something. Another iPad feature that's helpful in GoodNotes is the undo shortcut. Simply use two fingers to double tap on the screen and it will undo your last action. One of my absolute favorite parts of digital planning is how customizable it is. I'm going to show you how you can customize any template in your planner or journal. Using the lasso tool, I'm going to draw a circle in a blank space on the template. This will take a screenshot of your template background. When the pop-up toolbar comes up, you're going to select copy. Now paste the screenshot and you can use this to cover any section of your template that you don't want to use. Another option would be to take the lasso tool and circle any area of your template that you want to use on another page or move around on this template. Make sure you draw a circle around the whole area that you want to use and then you're going to take the screenshot. You're going to save a copy of this screenshot and now you have it to paste wherever you want to use it on this template or wherever you want to use it in your planner or your journal. Now let's go over a few settings in the toolbar in GoodNotes. Starting with the pen, when you toggle on the draw and hold, you can draw a line or a shape in GoodNotes and hold it and it'll auto correct just like the shape tool. The next setting is for the eraser. If you toggle on the auto deselect, whenever you finish with the eraser, it will automatically switch back to the pen or the highlighter you were using. For the highlighter, make sure that the draw in a straight line is toggled on. Now when you highlight anything and hold at the end, the line will automatically straighten. I have the color fill option turned on for the shape tool. I use this a lot when I'm time blocking in my digital planner. When you have the color fill option turned on and you draw a block, it fills with the color of the pen that you're using. Also, if you select the border of your shape, you can adjust the lines. And I forgot to record this part, but if you select the go back after you draw your shapes, it will remove the border from around it and you would just have the color block. And when you draw a shape with the color fill turned off, you will just get the outline of the shape. The lasso to circle option allows you to circle text or an image while using your pen and hold on it and it'll change it to a lasso so you can move it around your page. Another new feature of the pen tool is while you're writing, if you need to erase something, 
you can scribble over the text and it'll delete it for you. Last tip I have is for the zoom feature. The zoom is used to magnify an area to help improve your writing. If you select the three dots and go to document editing, toggle on auto advance, this gives you an option to have the zoom text box move automatically while you're writing. When you're getting close to the end of the box, a blue area will appear to the left. Continue writing in this area and the zoom box will move over as you write. All right, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you found some of these tips helpful. If you did, don't forget to like this video and make sure to subscribe so you get notifications for the next one. All right, y'all, till next time.